Bam, pow, tweet. <laughs> My name's Tom Rose, and uh, I'd like to make a little artist statement here uh, to sort of verbalize it, what's going on in my world. Extending the boundaries of painting and photography is, uh, <clears throat> well, along with new media, it's been a primary concern of mine for some time. This concern is expressed not only in the media I employ, but also in the way each image evolves continuously through the interaction and synthesis of painting, photography, and various new media, as you can see here. My work seeks to evoke the beautiful, complex, ridiculous, interconnectedness of human and natural phenomena. Hopefully, I'll, in the process of doing so, I'll uh, support a sustainable awareness of the uh, creative and spiritual and comical energies inherent throughout. Fragments, lines, and layerings in my paintings occur as complex bits of information, if you so choose to interpret them that way, whatever. But conflict and resolution reveal themselves, and uh, nevertheless, the investigation of the minute detail continues, as it was uh, in, in the uh, inferred volume which I used to create my early abstractions, and which ultimately led to an obsession with dense energy fields. Now, each of these is centered as a mass around a vortex, and then while these fields developed in intensity, at the same time I began to work with diverse symbols and signifiers drawn from nature, architecture, popular and not so popular cultures personal history and the history of art, and I found in them a whole new range of stylistic and philosophical investigation and adventure. The introduction of these loaded images in increasingly fragmented photo collage has heightened the visual and conceptual intensity of my work, bridging style and content, and introducing the implication of narrative. Now, this has allowed relationships of both form and meaning to be organized and codified into comprehensive wholes, finally giving life to my borderline satirical and ironic <laughs> neo-narrative postmodern abstract expressionism. <laughs> How about that? Anyways, while pushing the visual imagery and psychology of my paintings through conventional lens and computer-assisted digital media enables me to shamelessly self-appropriate my uh, original works on canvas in potentially infinite variety. Um, compositing, multiple exposures, magnification, offsetting, and flopping were some of the early key techniques I used in combining details from the same or different paintings. I regard my new media multiples as third eye paintings, essentially and metaphorically speaking, that is. Arriving at entirely new images in the evolution of my painting, photographically capture certain points of their development, which also allows me an invaluable, intensified, aesthetic, critical distance concerning the works in progress while also being able to drink some coffee or whatever it is I want to do in the meantime, taking a break from it all. But uh, my art, both in the composite, uh, photocomposite imagery, which is derived from and in the enlarged reproduction of my paintings, it transforms from the canvas via the realm of light itself. Contemporary digital print technology, which has come such a long way now, it just allows me to complete that transformation or extend it or whatever by reappropriating en masse my painting's essence to other materials or processes. Now, combining these new archival media applications, whatever they may be, you know, they keep evolving, you know, whether it's glass, ceramics, textiles, or, you know, uh, mobile phones, you know, that is my true fascination, you know maybe plugging it all into the internet at the end of the day. I don't know, but that's about it. That's a kind of a wrap, and pretty much more than, uh, you know, kind of gives you a feel for what I'm doing and what, a, you know, I hope it helps anyway. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Bam, pow, tweet, <laughs> drill. <laughs> okay, ciao, baby.